Madam Speaker, um, I just rise to speak on this bill briefly. I, I, I understand the need for this study, and, and I think it's an important study that we should look at. I kind of wish we were just going one step a little further. I wish we were actually taking some action. I, actually, I had a, an amendment filed on this bill, in, in, in fact, and I've agreed not to call it. But it's a problem that a lot of us are, have gone through as legislators. All of a sudden, one morning you'll get a call, or in my case, in one evening you'll get a call. You know what's going on on uh, Old Northfield Road, and the, this home's going in, and we don't know what it, what's involved. All of a sudden, there's a group home going in in a neighborhood in your town. You, as a legislator, had no idea. Your first selectman or mayor had no idea what was going on. This, is, this goes under the radar, so to speak, under our zoning regs, our planning and zoning regs. So six people, the magic number is six people under statute 8-3E could move into your district and set up one of these group homes. Now, section 8-3E was set up for a very good purpose. It was as we were deinstitutionalizing, is that a word? As we were taking, as we were taking the institutions down that house our developmentally disabled population, they needed a place to stay. It was as simple as that. So they went through the process. They, public hearing, set up a statute. We understood they needed this housing. And the Department of Developmentally Disabled were allowed to build these group homes in our town, in, in our towns. They're in every one of our towns. Um, we understand this. And there were some growing pains. But it really wasn't, that, it wasn't a problem. They were good neighbors. They'd put a fence up if the neighbors want, asked for one. It wasn't a problem. The problem came about during one of our implementers. You know those budget implementers we have late in the session when we're, when we're doing these agency bills to implement the budget? For some reason, I think the Department of Children and Families all of a sudden got inserted into A8-3E into this statute. Now the Department of Children and Families is, can, is authorized in, by law to set up a, uh, these group homes. So now you have six, not developmentally disabled, but you have six, if I may, uh, adolescents that may be having problems with it in society, all of a sudden moving into a neighbor, uh, uh, a little more disruptive, moving into one of the homes in your neighborhood. Again, six is the magic number. There, there is that could raise some problems, and, um, and like I say, you don't hear about it, your selectman doesn't hear about it, it just happens. What, I think a simple request, and then years later, another implementer bill, the Dep Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services, which services some of our corrections people, can now set up group homes right in your neighborhood, and it's happened to uh, some of our our fellow, my fellow colleagues here in this room, where all of a sudden six members of the correction population are now moving into our, into our towns. So this is a real problem. I agree with the study. We should study it, but then again, we probably should have won, went, taken action, actual action. And I think a simple step would have been just to have a public hearing, just to let the townspeople know what's going on. This is coming into your district. In my case, in one of my towns, it was Department of Children and Families. They set up, they were, they were kind enough to set up a, a, a public hearing. We had everybody in the neighborhood, a lot of people from the town, the first selectman, state senator, state rep were there, me. Uh, we were there, a bunch of people showed up, and they very calmly explained, this is the Department of Children and Families, it's gonna house six young women, we have this many staff, 24-hour care, you know, this isn't going to be, this is the way it's going to work, and, and if the public, they, while they weren't so happy about it, they were somewhat, they were better informed, and they were a little bit more accepting. So I think just the public hearing is all I was really wanted to ask for, but um, I understand that maybe it's not in the cards this year to, to put, take that action step. Maybe after this task force goes through, then we, then, 
it may be decided that a public hearing system may be set up for these. But it is getting to be a real problem, and it's a growing problem, too. And, uh, and it's going to be uh, something we must solve in the near future. Thank you, Madam Speaker.